for patients who have a cleft of the lip and then also it extends into the gum line. Uh, what happens is the, the muscles of the lip will pull the cleft wider and wider. So we, if we can, we like to perform nasoalveolar molding, which is uh, a sort of uh, braces essentially uh, in the uh, first uh, few months of life. We, we reconstruct some of the forces of the muscles of the lip to bring that palate uh, and that gum line closer together, and then also do some shaping and molding of the nose to make the, the surgery more predictable uh, when we perform it. Um, when you have a wider cleft, uh, you're depending a little bit more on uh, projecting how the child is, is gonna grow and uh, come back together over time.